We're learning some new details about an officer-involved shooting that we first brought to you. Uh, this was a news alert from late last night. Our Danielle Miller's live on the scene at about 19th Avenue in Buckeye. Danielle. Good morning. Yes, we just received an update. We do know that the suspect who was killed in this officer involved shooting out here in Phoenix is uh, being named as 26 year old Juan Reynoso. All of this happened right around 9 o'clock last night, and you can still see here that it is a very active investigation as the Phoenix Police Department continues to investigate. Uh, we're here near 19th Avenue in Buckeye in an apartment or a duplex style uh, housing here. Police received several calls about a domestic violence situation between a boy boyfriend and a girlfriend when they confronted uh, Reynoso uh, and tried to take him into custody. That's when he ran. We're being told that officers then chased him and at some point he took out a gun which police now say that they uh, later discovered that it was a replica gun. So those officers both opened fire on Reynoso and he was then killed. No officers were hurt in this incident and the officers who shot Reynoso are six and seven year veterans of the department. So uh, uh, luckily no officers were hurt during this incident here, but the Phoenix Police Department telling us that every call is very different and could be very dangerous just like this. Each call uh, can potentially be, be deadly or just as dangerous. Uh, we respond to so many domestic violence calls, you know, each year, but it's not just limited to domestic violence calls. It, it can be a traffic stop. It can be domestic violence. It could be a fight. Um, each call we have to just be ready and and be ready to respond and react to anything that's thrown at us. And it is expected for the officers to be on scene here for quite some time out here. The Phoenix Police Mobile Command Unit is still on scene, which means that uh, they still have some investigating to do out here. We have been told that the woman in this case, the girlfriend who uh, we're told that was involved in this domestic violence situation, uh, she did not appear to have any major injuries. Guys, we'll send it back to you.